okay so till last lecture we have seen how to invoke an app if you have an absolute path for that particular app if you don't have that path we used to download from a play store on our real device and from real device we are pulling it to our local drive dot apk file with the commands what we have discussed in the previous lecture okay and that apk file we are installing actually in our emulator and then we are running it on our emulator okay or if you download it from the play store from the net we are taking the dot apk path and we are running directly on the machines so that's how we are doing so now for example i don't have apk file with me okay though i don't have it we are using some commands to get the dot apk file into our machine and we are deploying it in our real device or simulator with these commands and we are actually invoking them by installing and invoking them just assume that there is one app in my mobile okay i don't have dot apk file of it and it's already installed and rather than you know using commands bringing that file outside and installing again i don't want to do all you know repeated things i just want to start the app which is present in my mobile that's it and i am not sure what that dot apk file is i was given an app and mobile and asked that to test without providing dot apk file how can we do it so one thing is the with the help of commands we can actually bring out the dot apk file in our local drive but just assume it's not required even without doing that we can actually invoke an app in appm using package and activity name of that app if we know the what the app package is and what is the main activity of that app if you know these two parameters with the help of these two we can actually invoke the app even if you are not aware of that apk file okay let's see what is the package and what is the main activity fine so now i am just removing the complete sentences about the dot apk file paths right now i am not rooting into my device with the help of you know commands so i just know that there is one app in my mobile called paytm okay so that app i need to invoke and i am not given permission to download that dot apk file just assume that so how can you invoke it so as i said first you need to know what is the package name of that app so every app will have a unique package name you need to get that and next and what activity you need to launch so activity in the sense for an app there might be a multiple pages right so each page will have an app okay each page will have an activity name sorry not an app each page will be defined as an activity if there are 10 pages that means totally there are 10 activities present for that particular app so home page will be the main launch activity now whenever you open any app the first page what it opens will be the main launch activity so now whatever page you need to open you have to pass that particular activity so that directly it will invoke that page in an app so by default we always launch to the main launch activity the home page to start our end to end task cases right so now let's see how can we find the package and activity name for the app so that we can smoothly invoke the app for that i connected my real device to this machine and remotely i'll show it here uh, how i can get the details yeah here we are so here there is an app called apk info okay you can download it from play store okay just click on that apk info file app okay you can go ahead and download this file from uh, your play store it will clearly give details about your app so what package it is what are the you know activities present in that package click on view apps and here i am interested to know about paytm app there is an app called paytm which i am looking for yeah so this is an app paytm so click on it whatever app 
present in your machine you know, just open that app click on that and you will have the clear details here okay so you can see the package name is net.197.paytm and these are all the activities present in that particular package so here I am interested in the main activity that is main home page which loads when I click on app okay using these two details also I can invoke my app and start testing in Appium rather than downloading .apk file and routing to my device and installing in app every time when the program starts running okay but that is a good way because it will delete all the history cookies and freshly it will start but if there are already pre-built apps in your mobile and if you don't want to get .apk file or rebooting you can just go ahead and download this apk info and get the details of what app you want to automate package name and activities and that's it you can start so let me show you how can we write that steps here so these all you know setting the capability to android and we are setting the device name and the command timeout is 25 seconds and we are connecting to android driver so generally we give app dot get absolute path by providing apk file path in our source folder that's how we have done till now now i just removed all those lines now app information i need to provide to need to work this you should have app already installed in your device remember that it will not install again it will just go ahead and check for the package and activity it's looking for set capability mobile capability dot so first you need to give package name so type mm. platform name platform version page load no there should be app okay app package and here you need to pass the value what we are looking for it's net dot one nine seven dot paytm dot one nine seven dot ptm right so what next we have to give the next attribute that is activity name so we are going to launch main activity right so you can say app underscore activity and that activity you can actually get it here so I am trying to launch main activities that is package name dot agr main activity so agr main activity Write it in double quotes. Okay, so we have successfully written package name as well as activity. Cool. So, what else? Yeah, that's it. I think we are good with that now because we have successfully provided platform name, device name, and when you run this, first of all, it will check whether it has any APK file to trigger. If not, then it will check what is there any package and activity provided to run. So it will go ahead and you know it will take that. So now let me show you how that particular you know app looks like in the machine. Okay.